So welcome to my 3D cart review where what I'm going to be doing is kind of giving you a demo walkthrough of this e-commerce software. That way you can get a great idea of what they have in terms of the features, the benefits, what I like about them, and everything else that's going to come along with this software. So first and foremost, I will put a link down below where if you check that out, if you're watching that on YouTube or my website, if you click that, you'll get taken to a page that looks very similar to this. Another great thing about 3D cart, even though we're just getting started, is that they actually come with a 15 day free trial. You don't even need a card for it so you can go and test it out and just to make sure it's going to be perfect for you or you can even follow along with this video just so you know the steps that you need to walk through in order to get up and running and as it talks about right here you can get up and running in five minutes i do believe that to be very true as well i flew through this i'm going to take a little bit more time when i'm doing my review just so i can talk a little bit more about the features but there's a lot to like when it comes to this e-commerce software so let's begin so first and foremost, after you sign up for free, you will get an email when it comes along with the instructions, when it comes to signing up, your login, your password, and so on and so forth. This is going to be your main homepage, and there's a lot of different sections in the dashboard, as you can see right here. There's going to be a section for orders, products, customers, marketing, content, shortcuts, settings, reports, and of course modules, which I will get to towards the end. The first thing that I want to talk about is going to be customizing your shop, overall the look and the feel, and what your customers are going to see once you have your shop up and running. So the first thing I want to do is click on the settings tab, and then I want to do general, and then of course store settings. Okay, so as you can see, this is going to be the first step, which is very easy to do. A lot of this I'm pretty much just going to talk about, and then I'm going to do it, pause the video so you don't have to sit through and, you know, kind of watch me write about a lot of this stuff. But for this review purpose, I'm just going to make a dummy store, and I'm going to call it based upon my website. So let me quickly fill in some information. Okay, so as you can see, we have isolated marketing nights for the store name, and then we have our slogan. Now, one more thing I wanna also add in, in order to add any type of logo, this is going to be the process for uploading any type of picture. So all you need to do is click on browse. There will be a window that opens up on the right. All you need to do here is click on upload files, and once you do, it'll show up here. Once you have your logo, simply click on it, and then of course it will be right here. From there, you can just simply click on the save button. So far, so good, right? So now that we have that all set up, what we wanna do is have a great theme for it so that we can make sure we like what we see, and of course, when our customers come to the page. So in the settings section, all you need to do is click on design, and then click on themes and styles. So I already have a specific theme for the dummy, you know, page that I created, but all you need to do is go to change theme. All right, so the good thing about 3D Cart is that they come with around, I wanna say 60 free themes. If you look right here, they have well over 100 both free and premium themes that you can choose from. So I currently have the life coaching one because I like the whole digital marketing angle, but let's scroll down just to give you a good idea of some of the different offers and niches that they have, okay? So looking here, there's one for barbers, as you can see. You got one, let's see, for tickets. You got one for groceries. Scrolling down a little bit more. Uh, one for ice cream, one for restaurants and pizza, this looks like it's fitness, coffee, and even if you don't see, say, a niche or product that's going to be fit for what you have to offer, it's not a big deal because you can always customize these. Like I said, these are just templates, but the great thing about templates is that they can help you get up and running much quicker, and that's always a great thing compared to a lot of other software solutions where you might not have many to choose from. And either my computer is just being a little bit slow to load or some of these are just not loading. Not a big deal either way. As you can see, there's plenty to choose from, but either way, I have gone with the life coaching one. You can always customize it and you can always edit it if you like. As it shows right here, you have default and just that, okay? Depending on the theme that you get, that can be slightly different, okay? Now, let me actually show you how to choose a theme. It's very easy to do, so let's scroll down a little. There we go. Let's pick the ice cream one. So if we click on that, all we would need to do is download theme. And then if you would like to actually install it now, you can hit yes, which you would do, but for now I'm just gonna hit no. So as you can see, now I have one more installed theme. So if you wanna actually get a few of them just to kind of test and see what's going to work better for you. Also, you have the option to change the color. So don't feel like you're locked into any of these. Like I said, they're just templates. Maybe you're not into purple and kind of orangey yellow. You can always change that up once you get going. So that's a very quick tutorial when it comes to changing around your theme. It's very easy to do and that's always a good thing. So the next thing you're, want, you're gonna wanna do is look into the products. So how is 3D Cart when it comes to adding and uploading products? Let's find out right now. So in this section right here under products, I'm gonna click on product list. 
Now, normally when you get started, it's going to come with, I think, 11 products. They're pretty much just dummy products just to give you an idea of what it looks like when you have products in there. However, what I recommend doing, which is also what 3D Cart recommended doing in a tutorial, is just to delete all of them and start from scratch. So all you would need to do, there's going to be like a box here. You can check off all of those. And then when you go to the bottom, you can just simply delete them. We're going to start from scratch. So let's do that right now. Click on add a product. And now we have the settings when it comes to your product. So in this scenario, I'm just gonna do say an ebook for isolated marketing nights. Once again, I'm gonna go ahead and fill in some of the information and I'll talk to you about what you can add uh, and other helpful tips. All right, so that was very quick and easy. So what we have right here, first we have the name, obviously whatever the name is going to be, it doesn't always have to be an ebook, it can be anything you like. But for this specific example, I'm talking about pretty much digital marketing and an ebook. Uh, the SKU number is pretty much going to be like its identification. If I click this, you can see it. It's unique identification code or part number up to 40 numbers. And then we have the MPN, which is the manufacturer's part number for the product, blah, 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 so on and so forth, which you can obviously don't have to use, okay? Description, <laughs> I wasn't gonna go ahead and type out 2,000 words here, so just a little filler description. The cool thing here, as you might notice or may have not noticed, obviously you can do physical products, you can do gift certificates, which is a nice feature, and of course, digital products. In this example, it's just gonna be a digital product. Now, when it comes to categories, you may or may not have any, depending on if you're just getting started. What you can actually do is go to select categories, and if you don't have any, just simply add a new category. For me, that could be eBooks, but it's really gonna be up to you, your niche, and what you have for specific categories. However, that doesn't have the uh, asterisk next to it, so it's not you know, needed. And images, I added one right here. I simply drag and dropped it in, and that was how it went. Now we have pricing. The price is how much they're gonna be paying. Retail, for example, is like how much you know they might be paying at a competitor, something like that. Now we move down to the inventory, which is cool. You actually have the ability to allow customers to purchase this product when it's out of stock. Okay, I don't think that's gonna happen with eBooks <laughs> since they're digital, but this might be good if you are selling a physical product. And even though something is out of stock, they might have to wait for it, but you can at least still keep the sales rolling in. So that's gonna be up to you. Either way, I like the settings, so I'm gonna click on the save button. And since we just created a new product, a few things happened, but first and foremost, let's give it a preview by simply clicking on the preview button, which I already did. Let's move to that tab. And as you can see, very simple, very straightforward. Here's the logo that I used previously. Like I said before, this is just like a dummy setup, okay? So it's nothing 100% perfect, but me personally, I love the simplicity. I love the clean and simpleness. I just said simple twice, but <laughs> you get where I'm coming from. It's very easy to understand. This was the title. There's no reviews yet. This is the price. Remember the retail price how much they save, uh, the number, availability on back order for an ebook, who knows, <laughs> okay? I don't even know if that's possible. Uh, I don't think digital ebooks can run out like I talked about, but anyway, add to cart and so on and so forth. Looks pretty cool. And this was just the stock image that I used so I could find something to put in that placeholder. So it doesn't look all that bad. A lot of this stuff you can edit later, but remember this is pretty much a part of the template. So there's gonna be a few other things on the bottom and so on and so forth, okay? Something else that I wanna bring up is that when you create a product like this, you now open up a few more tabs to edit. For example, we have images, which we've done already, but I'll click on that as well. This is if you wanna add some more. So you can add quite a few images if you like. This is gonna be great for physical products because your potential customers will have a better ability to see what it actually looks like. You can even add a video if you like, okay? There's gonna be options, there's gonna be related. Upselling is a nice little feature as well. That's something you can add to it. So increase your profit potential by displaying accessories on the product listing page, which is always a good thing. There is the ability for a discount where you can improve customer loyalty by offering shoppers a discount for buying in bulk, which is always nice. Plus there is the option for SEO, which I always love. So this is going to be pretty simple when it comes to search engine optimization, page title, custom file name, 301 redirect to the H1 tag, a URL, meta tags, and that's about it. It's nice that they at least have that option when it comes to creating products, but all in all, that's pretty much how you can go about creating a product. I can actually click on the product list tab here, and you'll see that this is going to be my first product. If you wanna do that, just simply add a new product, and it's going to be up to you how many products that you simply wanna add. Pretty cool, right? So all in all, so far it has been very simple when it comes to setting up your store, adding your logo. If you don't have one, don't worry about it. It's not the biggest deal in the world. You just wanna get it up and running, changing your theme, adding your products, and of course, what is going to come next after that? Adding your payment gateway. So of course, when you make sales, you can get paid. So how we can do that is going to be with the following steps. So all we need to do is click on the settings tab, which I just did, and then payment. 
Now here's something really great that you're gonna love about 3D Cart is that they have over 100 ready to use payment solutions. They are certainly not kidding. There's probably not gonna be a payment solution that they don't have, okay? Let's continue on either way. Let's click on the Select Payment Methods button. And getting started with one of the recommended payment solutions is going to be very easy. As you can see right here, here are going to be the five most recommended payment solutions. You have Square, PayPal, Stripe, Amazon Pay, and Klarna. Okay, so if you wanted to use one of these, all you need to do is toggle on this section here. And of course, pretty much connect with everything that they're going to do. I'm not going to do this in this specific scenario because it's pretty much just, you know, follow along with what they ask. You can also use PayPal. And if you want to use PayPal Express, that's probably one of the fastest ways to get up and running. As you can see here, you pretty much just need your PayPal email and then a few more things in order to do that. Now, what makes it even better, we talked about there's going to be well over 100 payment solutions. If you want to see the rest of them, all you need to do is click on the add new button right here. And as you can see, when it comes to payment methods, there are a lot of them. They certainly weren't kidding. And something that I found very fascinating is that they also have money order and check. Okay, so you can utilize those as well. So there are a ton of ways to get paid when it comes to using a 3D cart. And that's a really good benefit and a really good bonus, I guess you could say, because there might be one of these that you want to use that other, you know, shopping cart software, e-commerce softwares don't have. So that's a really good thing. I really like that about this specific software. All right, so now that we've quickly run to the payment methods, now we wanna look on the other side of obviously when it comes to getting paid, then you're gonna probably need to ship. So let's close this out. And since setting is still open, let's click on shipping. Okay, so there are gonna be two main options here. There's actually a few of them, but I just wanna talk about the main ones, which are going to be shipping methods and shipping settings. So first I wanna edit the settings where you can configure important shipping settings and select the shipping carrier you'd like to use for real-time rates. Let's click on edit settings. Okay, and if I click on this right here for real time shipping settings, let's show this. As you can see, there's gonna be plenty of carriers for you to choose from, okay? Whether it's going to be custom, U UPS, FedEx, USPS, DHL, CA Post, and so on and so forth. All you would need to do here is edit the credentials under the specific carrier. So for example, when it comes to UPS, click on edit credentials. If you wanted to use that, of course, this is where you're going to enter your information. And the cool thing about this is that 3D Cart does make it really easy for you to get up and running because as you can see right here, maybe you wanna use UPS and you're not yet registered with them. They have have that option for you right here and they have that for the others as well so anytime we can hit enter credentials let's do it with usps once again register and you're going to be good to go that's something that i also liked about 3d cart because a lot of times if you do need to integrate with something else depending on the software you'll probably have to take a few more steps in order to do that but once again 3d cart makes it very easy for you to complete the process okay so that's when it comes to the real-time shipping settings I'm just going to hide and show this slash let's move up to the shipping origin. This is also something that you're going to want to edit for me it would be the sunshine state of Florida, but this is where you would enter that information. So that was half of the shipping settings. Let's go back to this section here with shipping. Okay. Now we want to check the shipping methods. So let's click on select methods. And this is where there's going to be a lot of customization. Now, I'm not going to spend too much time talking about this because it really depends on the carrier that you're going to be using, you know, what you're going to be selling and so forth. But this is really how you can maximize a lot of the customizations depending on who you're using. But as you can see here, say you were going to be using UPS or FedEx, whatever it's going to be, you can click on the add new. And then, of course, simply follow the instructions when it comes to the shipping methods and the default methods and whatever it's going to be. You've got a lot of flexibility when it comes to these settings and that's always a really good thing. So all in all, that was a very quick run through of what 3D Cart has to offer in terms of getting up and running. Yes, this took a little bit longer than five minutes, mostly for the fact that I was talking to you, kind of explaining to you a lot of the benefits and so on and so forth. In terms of their pricing, they start off at $19 per month after the 15 day free trial, which is a really good pricing considering the fact you're getting a lot of great features in this 3D Cart software. So Something else to keep in mind when it comes to all of the pricing plans is that you get a lot of unique features regarding of which plan that you pick. For example, a couple of the great features include a built-in blog, a shopping cart, obviously, a Facebook store, unlimited orders, 24-7 customer support, no transaction fees, secure web hosting, along with unlimited bandwidth. So there is certainly a lot to like when it comes to this 3D cart software. So let's take a quick glance at some of the pros that I came up with after going through and giving this software a nice little review demo. 
So what did I really like about this? First and foremost, the fact that they have a free trial is always nice. And the fact that you don't need a card up front is also another great feature. A lot of times when you go through software, sometimes you have to pay in order just to be able to use that. That's not the case. And that's something that's a really good pro when it comes to the software just for getting started. Next, there are no hidden fees or no transaction fees. Over the long term, this can save you a ton of money. As if you've ever, if you've ever had any type of hidden fees or transaction fees when it comes to using any type of payment processor or whatever it's going to be, you know that over time they can certainly add up, uh, and that's really going to help you in the long run. Not only save money, but you know make more money because you are saving in the process. It's great that 3D Cart has many flexible pricing plans to choose from. I really like that about them. I like that they have a step-by-step -step and very simple setup as you've seen in this specific uh, review video. Going through this is very easy. Uh, even if you've never used a software like this, I don't believe that you're going to have a lot of trouble, if any at all. Plus, like I talked about previously, they do come with 24 seven support. So if you have any type of questions that you need help with, there's always going to be support where you can go right here, ask for help, you know, and I'm sure they can help you get all moving along much quicker. The fact that they have well over 100 ready to use payment gateways is awesome. There's a good chance that they're going to have exactly what you're looking for. And lastly, having well over 100 templates to choose from, that's both from free and premium, is always a great thing because that gives you a lot of variety when it comes to getting up and running, You know, choosing your theme, customizing it, and making your store look as great as it possibly can, not only for you, but for your future customers. So those are a lot of the pros that I like when it comes to this specific software. On the other hand, I found it kind of um, interesting that going through this, there was only one con that I didn't like, and it came with the homepage carousel. I found that a little bit clunky to use simply for the fact that I had to go in there. I had to upload a picture. Sometimes it wouldn't show until I made it a specific uh, size. So uh, in my experience, you might have to tinker around with that when it comes to the homepage carousel, or maybe if you don't want to use it, you don't even need to in the first place. This isn't something that's obviously going to make or break you. Uh, it's just a very minor detail, but that was only the only hiccup that I personally had when it came to using the software. And that's always a really good thing. I've tested out a lot of software in the time. And when it's pretty much smooth sailing, you know that you're going to have a good software for you to use, not only for, you know, creating your store, but obviously making sense doing shipping, and a lot of the great features and benefits that come, around, come along with 3D Cart. All in all, I would highly recommend this, especially if you're going to be thinking about you know, creating a store. Is this the best e-commerce software out there? Uh, perhaps it might be. I would need to look into more comparisons, but this is the type of software, if you have any type of interest in it whatsoever, you definitely want to give it a shot because the uh, price is definitely well worth the emission, especially for the fact that the price is nothing for the first 15 days when you're getting a free trial. So that is about it. I hope you enjoyed this 3D Cart review. Once again, if you look down below and click the link, you can get access to 3D Cart for free for 15 days. And if you happen to be watching this on YouTube, I will put a link deeper into the description that links to the actual review post that I did. So if you like reading as opposed to writing, as opposed to watching, or maybe you like doing both, you can actually hop on over to that post and get a little bit more details when it comes to using this software. So that's about it. Thank you for watching, and I hope that you enjoy 3D Cart as much as I did.